You know, back in the days, uh, whilst I was in the streets, it's not because I want to be cool, you know? It's not because I want to be cool, man. It's because we were poor. And I'm not embarrassed to, to tell folks, when I first came to the state of Georgia, my family was poor. Yeah. We are immigrants. We came here with, with nothing but shirts on our back. Don't even know the language, man. You know? We have to adapt the culture, learn the language. And we have to find jobs. And sometimes they don't want to hire us because we can't speak the language. You know, I be having one pair of shoes to wear all years round. And guess what? Being laughed at. Also being bullied. But with all that, I'm still standing still, right? I hit the streets because I needed more money. So I started drug dealing, right? But I don't have to kill nobody to wear a badge as, as a G. See, the society, the world, want you to kill somebody so that you can earn that badge. No. No, you don't. No, you don't. That's what they want you to define as a gangster. Because y'all see it in rap videos, movies, those kind of things. Now, real G's can be real men. We can come home, take care of our kids, love our families. We just economically not doing good. And no one's give us free money. So that's just a way of us making money. And then we find others like us being bullied, got no money, lonely, always got picked on, jumped on. That's why we band together. We band together for the same cause. So we can support each other in any ways we can. When you touch one of us, you touch 30 of us. But do we have to kill someone to wear that badge? No, we don't. You be a fool if you kill someone. Your life is over in the four concrete walls. And never see freedom again. I did 10 years in the Fed, so I know what it's like. See, most, most of them talk that gangster stuff and do no times. They get yapping on videos and movies. You know what I'm saying? Living off the real G's. That's, that's for real, man. I always got this question. Oh, what clique you from? 103. And I got respect it from many brothers. And yeah. We ain't got to kill nobody to be ruthless. You know what I'm saying? Don't let the society judge you. To be ruthless, you have to take someone's life. Nah, man, they're fooling y'all. You know what I'm saying? So that's what, that's what my life started right there, man. I got pushed to the streets because as a poor immigrant, immigrant kids, man. But at the end of the day, you know, I, I, I was looking for the way to, to be in a better position, you know? So at one point in my life, I have to get out the games, drug dealing games, any illegal activity, I was try I'm trying to get out and earn an honest living. And it's not easy, you know? You know why it's not easy? If you're making a week, 40, 50K, Right? But then the faster the money coming in, the faster it goes. 
And of course, you know, your mindset is also different when you're young. You know? Back in the day, you don't have a lot of camera phones, so you're not going to see a lot of things on social platforms. And a generation like myself, we keep it low key, low profile, so you're not going to see it. The only way you know is you have personal encounters, one on one conversation, then you know. You know? So other than that, they don't, people like us don't uh, incriminate ourselves. But anyway, you know, when, when I got out the games and I bought a lounge, tried to earn an, earn an honest living, because I started having kids. And I'm sure many men like myself, we real men too. We just have certain perception about how society looking at us. Because we are a certain segment of people, you know. So, earning an honest living by buying me a lounge, you know. But, but even you try to get out and doing good for yourself and your family, there's still rumors because of your, your past life, you know. So they be saying, yeah, he using that lounge as a, 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 a location for his drug shipments. Yeah. And I know, you know, when rumors spread like that, you know agents going to come to your place. And so many times I've seen them sit right at the bars. But, you know, for me, I'm not even worried because I wouldn't do nothing wrong. I was selling chicken wings, fried rice, mixed drink, liquors. Uh, um, also letting local independent artists to perform so I can make money. You know? So, do not let society put a bash on you because they're... They, they, they're promoting and they're saying, yeah, you have to uh, be, a, in order for you to be a real G, yeah, you have to go out there and do, like, drive-bys and shooting up people and killing people. No, nah, man. you real G's because you want a better life, a different route that you are taking because you can't go that route. They're turning you down. But you can't stand to be hungry. You can't stand that your family ain't got no money to pay for electric bills, water bills, or put food on the table. You're taking that route. But always have a plan B. Get out. You know what I'm saying? Get out. But guess what? When you kill somebody, there ain't no plan B. You're doing that times. And that's facts. That's facts. Today, people always ask me, you know, what gang you in? Vit Vietnamese gang, 103. I live in Atlanta, Georgia for 30 some years. And everybody that doing dirt know my names. But I don't mean I'm bragging, but I'm just saying, like, you want credibility, you know? It ain't important. The important is you found yourself. No matter where you at in life, what stages that you are going through, if you found yourself, that's a great accomplishment. But if you, you in, you're in the streets, you earned your badge of honor by standing your ground. And stick to the cold, man. At the end of the day, we can call ourselves bosses, but when the pressure comes, we fold. And then we start making excuses. Yeah, that's why I'm right, because of this and that. Nah, man. Stop that. Stop that. So whether you in the streets, game banging, keep it real. And have your plan B. Love your families. Stay true to yourself. If you're regular folks, you can be somebody. All you have to do is say to yourself, what, who do I want to be? Do I want to be here the next three years, five years? Ask yourself a question. I know what I did. 
I transitioned myself from doing dirts to buying a lounge to investing my money. All you have to do is ask yourself a question. Think, think about it, then put forth, your, put forth efforts. And then have a plan and starting to execute one by one. Just do not wait. Remember, real G's, you don't have to kill nobody. Real G's, you just have to be true with yourself. That's the badge. You don't fall under any pressure. Remember that. Until next time, y'all know what it is. Freedom is good, man. Freedom is good. Peace, y'all.